Hey, 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 and welcome back to the channel, Flight Sim Enthusiasts and all you racing sim junkies. Now, this is a bit of an emergency video. This video is a tack on to my joystick gremlin video that I put out uh, a week or so ago about how to get your racing pedals bound to a rudder pedal so then it can be seen by IL2 Sturmovic. Any of the Sturmovic series, uh, people can have major issues trying to map racing pedals to IL2 Sturmovic as a rudder pedal, even when using a merge software and something like VJoy as a uh, USB emulation with a merge software like joystick gremlin or universal controller there's one particular person that was having an issue with this he contacted me in the um comments so this is a shout out to you danger mouse i hope what i've discovered today may be the uh solving of your issue with you still not being able to bind your race pedals as uh one axis and get it to work in il2 stemovic so what happened today was with absolutely no changes made to my computer or anything like that whatsoever i start uh, my computer today i go through the whole sequence that i normally do with all my apps, setting them up, getting them running before I run my IL2 Sturmovic. Started IL2 Sturmovic, lo and behold, I get into the game and I have no rudder. And I'm like, what the hell? I was playing this yesterday. I've been playing it for two weeks straight and I've only played it yesterday. Why are the rudders not working today? Go back out, double check in Universal Controller. Yes, you can see it working in Universal Controller. Go into uh, Control Panel, go into Devices, Devices and Printers, check the game controllers, check Properties. Yes, there it is. Windows can see it. It's working. Bloody IL2 Sturmovic is not seeing the bind anymore. The bind was still there. It hadn't changed, but the rudders would not work. So I think, well, maybe something funny is going on with IL2 Sturmovic. I need to rebind this. So I hit rebind. All it will see is the X and Z axis on the racing pedals. It will not, for the life of me, bind to the VJoy device, like shown in my tutorials. See the links, guys, for the tutorials. So what does this mean? It means that I got very lucky because when I was in controls in IL2 Sturmovic in the keybind section, I noticed that my joystick identification, because with my peripherals in IL2 Sturmovic in the keybind controls area, it sees my joysticks, my throttle, my joystick, my pedals, it sees them as ID. So it'll see them, might see the uh, joystick as say ID2, might see the throttle as ID3, might see the pedals as ID1 or ID4 etc okay and what I'd noticed is that my joystick had changed from ID3 to ID4 and I thought well, that's a bit weird what's going on there it's just lucky I noticed this normally the doctor who is thick as two bricks doesn't pick up on these things I happened to notice this and it got me thinking hmm that's a bit strange something's happened with the designation of IDs with my peripherals versus IL2. So I quit out of IL2 Sturmovic and I come back to my desktop and I click on control panel. So if you're in Windows 10, just put in the search bar, control panel, bring it up, go to hardware and sound, go to device and printers, find whatever pedal set you've got or, or, or any of your joystick peripherals, really, it doesn't matter. I'm going to click on my pedal set because these relate directly to my rudders. Right click on them, go into game controllers. Now, this will give you a list of seen game controllers by Windows. Now, I've made a change here now uh, and I'm going to explain what I discovered. So what I discovered is that because I had five uh, joystick peripherals actually being seen by Windows, five, now there's only four, but there was five. And what had happened is the allocation of these five, this list of five, because the fifth allocation was my little button box that I bought from eBay. And what had happened is that VJoy device had been bumped down the list to be seen as fifth on this list. So what I've discovered is that IL2 Sturmovic cannot see more than four devices, okay? Because VJoy had been bumped down into the fifth position, IL2 Sturmovic was unable to see VJoy and that's why it wouldn't bind it. So all I needed to do was unplug that button box. Now, that's okay because that button box is not that critical for me playing IL2 Sturmovic. Now, I can't unplug anything else. You can see all these other peripherals here are critical for me to be able to play the game. My pedals, obviously, I need to use them uh, as a rudder. My throttle I need, my joystick I need. So I can't get rid of them. So thankfully, with VJoy uh, device, it is only a total of four. So I don't know Danger Mouse or 
anyone else out there, because I know Danger Mouse and myself, we are not the lone rangers uh, with this problem, because I know I've seen this on the internet with people trying to work out how to get this to work. And I think this is what the issue is, okay? So it may be a matter of even unplugging and replugging in your peripherals into your USB port. That may also change uh, the priority of your list here. I don't know. I haven't tried that because I didn't need the button box. I simply unplugged it and it automatically put VJoy device back at number four. And then when I went back into IL2 Stermavic, I'm not going to do that in this video. I can just tell you that this is definitely the case. Then when I went back into IL2 Stermavic, I was able to just go through the process uh, as shown in the Joystick Gremlin video or the Universal Controller video, and then IL2 Stermavic would see the binding, no problems. One more thing to finish specifically for you, Danger Mouse, and anybody else that watched that video, I said don't bother trying anything higher than sort of 3,000 or 5,000. Not true. Put in 300,000, okay? I put in 300,000 today in the sensitivity area in Universal Controller, and then it sees VJoy way before it will see your pedals come into play. So you can indeed put in a really high figure in that intensity level, and it will bring VJoy to life. Just remember, once you've got it bound in IL-2 Stermavic with the high sensitivity, do remember to go in and set that back to 100. Okay, that's it. I really hope this uh, solves your problem, Danger Mouse, specifically, because you're one that specifically asked for this uh, problem to be solved. Hopefully, I've solved that for you, and I hope this helps anyone else out there who stumbles upon this video. You guys stay safe, stay healthy, and take it easy out there.